crypto emergency? Now that's a crypto crash, why is BitConnect crash? BitConnect market cap collapse, a sign of Ponzi scheme falling apart? BitConnect is suspected of being a hybrid of a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme. BitConnect was founded in 2016 as a very promising project with its own cryptocurrency BCC. However, since November 1st, the company's market capitalization suddenly collapsed from $2 billion to $0.5 billion. In a Twitter post, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum called the project a Ponzi scheme. If we look closer, his statement seems to have all chances of being truth. Is BitConnect indeed nothing more than a pyramid in a Ponzi scheme? The BitConnect homepage states, BitConnect is an open source, peer-to-peer, community-driven decentralized cryptocurrency that allow people to store and invest their wealth in a non-government controlled currency, and even earn a substantial interest on investment. This means anyone holding BitConnect coin in their wallet will receive interest on their balance in return for helping maintain security of the network. However, such a bright description didn't fool some of the experts. For example, CoinCodex decided to distance itself from this project, delist BCC from the top 100 listings, and issue a warning on the coin overview page. Their head of the content division, Marco Stokel, stated to CoinIdle, BitConnect employs a number of dubious methods in order to operate and promote its business. The business model outlined by the company is economically unsustainable with the current level of returns unable to be validated by any legally known investment system. As already stated, the BitConnect project also generates a large amount of negative feedback from within the cryptocurrency community with accusations that the project is actually a scam or Ponzi scheme being actively discussed. The discussion on BitConnect was spurred on by the comment of Vitalik Buterin on Twitter stating, if 1% slash day is what they offer then that's a Ponzi. Other cryptocurrency enthusiasts compared BitConnect to another Bitcoin lending investment alternative, Bitpetite. Actually, it was successfully running until recently. However, the company suddenly went dark along with all the investors' money. Classical Pyramid Referral System However, Further research into its work and promises indeed revealed BitConnect is looking like a scam, a hybrid of a financial pyramid and a Ponzi scheme. The most obvious thing is that it sounds too good to be true. The company offers high interests. For example, for $10,000 plus of investment, you are promised to get a 0.25% daily interest, which means 91.25% of annual return. Sounds good, if not to say fantastic. Moreover, they promise to grant you a 480% bonus per year. Seems odd enough, especially considering that they have actually lost $1.5 billion of their market capitalization since November 1, 2017, although the price of their coin decreased by only 1%. Their coin has also fallen from 8th to 15th position on coin market cap. Probably, from referrals you should bring. The mere fact of a referral system should make you investigate the company very closely. That referral thing is typical of all kinds of pyramids, MLM and Ponzi schemes. Remember MMM? They promised mountains and marvels for bringing people in as well. How did it end? No need to mention. Bad English, bad sign for investors. If you take a closer look at the BitConnect website, you will probably notice many language errors. Reputable and reliable companies do their best to avoid this as it may spoil the user experience. Even if the founders are not native speakers, they usually hire an employee to perform spelling checks. According to Steemit, scammers don't want the employees to be able to identify them after they disappear with the money, and besides, they want to reduce the costs as much as possible until they shut down the site. Meet Satao Nakamoto Satao Nakamoto is referred to as head of development. Seriously? Did they really think people won't notice that obvious resemblance with the name of Satoshi Nakamoto, the father of Bitcoin? Well, it could indeed be a coincidence. Though such a coincidence is hard to believe. Especially considering the fact that their address is a shared office space that provides virtual offices, and their website is hosted in Belize. When you investigate the company deeper, you will discover it is impossible to find real people working at the company. 
it is even unclear who that Satao Nakamoto is. Of course, it is not surprising in the crypto industry, where many people use nicknames to disguise their personalities for their own reasons. Most of them are reliable and honest people, with whom it is pleasant to do business. Unfortunately, such a practice sets ground for various kinds of scammers striving to get away with your money. Don't let them do that. Investigate before investing. Bitconnect shuts down amid crypto crash. Following months of bad press and publicity, lending and exchange platform Bitconnect has announced that it is shutting down. Many had suspected the platform of being a Ponzi scheme, and it had suffered multiple DOS attacks on the website. In an announcement on its website, the platform said it was closing the lending operation immediately with the release of all outstanding loans. The notice cited continuous bad press, including two cease and desist letters from the securities boards of Texas and North Carolina. BitConnect has stated that it will refund all active loans at a rate which it calculated from the past 15-day average price. With release of your entire active loan in the lending wallet we are transferring all your lending wallet balance to your BitConnect wallet balance at 363 US dollars and 62 cents. This rate has been calculated based on last 15 days averages of the closing price registered on CoinMarketCap.com. Within moments of the notice, the BCC token price plummeted from around $180 to $24 amid a general market decline across all cryptocurrencies. According to TechCrunch, many users will still have suffered severe losses on their fiat, or Bitcoin equivalents, if they had invested in BCC which is effectively useless now since the platform has shut down. A number of prominent crypto experts have also labeled BitConnect as a Ponzi scheme, including Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin and Litecoin's Charlie Lee who tweeted, Turns out it was a Ponzi after all. Sorry for those that got caught up in this. Ponzi's work because people are easily fooled. BitConnect was an anonymously run operation that allowed users to loan their cryptocurrencies to the company for large returns of up to 40% per month. A large referral system generated a pyramid scheme on social media, with users plying their referral links for extra commissions. The loans were in use, but had to be made in BCC, which could be purchased with Bitcoin. As its popularity grew, the token gained value and climbed from $10 in mid-2017 to a high of $435 at its peak at the end of the year. BitConnect has stated that they will continue supporting the coin, closing the lending and exchange platform doesn't mean that we will stop supporting BitConnect coin. Closing the lending platform will allow BitConnect to be listed on outside exchanges giving more options for trading. This is not the end of this community. But we are closing some of the services on the website platform and we will continue offering other cryptocurrency services in the future. Although with the token's value approaching the floor, renewed confidence and in investment in BCC remains a very forlorn hope. Did you use BitConnect and has this affected you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. With all cryptocurrency markets tanking in value, it is evident there will be some big changes. More specifically, some currencies are all but crashing to the ground as we speak. BitConnect, the infamous Ponzi scheme, is finally meeting its demise, by the look of things. Thanks to the recent price declines, the value of BCC dropped by over 80%. Moreover, the native exchange has closed its doors and the subreddit has turned to private. Good riddance, according to many cryptocurrency enthusiasts. It was only a matter of time until BitConnect would finally collapse. Thousands of people bought into this scam and some of them may have even made money. Most users, however, probably never got their money out of this program whatsoever. That is only normal, as over 95% of all trades were conducted on the native BCC exchange. When a currency's developers also run the main exchange, you know things are not always going to end well. Curtain Call for BitConnect to put this into perspective, the BitConnect price has dropped by a lot. Over the past week, it went from nearly $400 all the way to $27. Such a steep decline seems to confirm the developers finally completed their grand exit scam. It is also possible they used the stolen Bitcoins to crash the current market. Whether or not that latter part is a conspiracy theory or the sheer reality remains to be seen. It is evident the BCC exchange had access to a lot of BTC, though. Either way, 
it seems this Ponzi scheme is gone for good, which can only be considered to be a good thing. Furthermore, it seems the project subreddit is no longer accessible. Rather than leaving it open to the public, it is now completely private. No one who isn't approved can't access the subreddit or see what is being posted there. A very worrisome turn of events for the people still waiting to get their money out. They were warned dozens of times about this Ponzi scheme, though. Anyone who lost money due to BitConnect only has themselves to blame. It is a harsh reality, but that's what people get for falling for snake oil practices. For now, it is unclear what the future will hold. It seems the BCC exchange has also shut its doors for now. This is more evidence of the nefarious nature of this particular investment program. It is a matter of time until the other exchanges remove BCC from their platform, by the look of things. We can only hope not too many people lost money because of BitConnect. At the same time, it seems likely the team ran off with a few dozen million dollars in the end. Can we predict a crypto crash? Crypto markets are no stranger to volatility. However, this past week has been particularly painful. The total market capacity of all cryptocurrencies fell from $740 billion to $420 billion in just four days, a brutal drop of over 40%. At the time of writing markets appear to be showing signs of recovery and are on the way back up again with over $100 billion added back since yesterday. Speculation on the cause of the crash is rife, but it would be more pertinent to simply look at historical charts to see if there is a pattern. It turns out that this has occurred every January since 2014. In what appears to be a natural cycle in the markets the price of Bitcoin and its siblings has dropped significantly at this time of year for the past five years at least. 1. 2. This year's market slump has been amplified by the fact that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are now household names, covered by mainstream media, which is adept at disseminating fear, uncertainty and doubt. Big names such as Reuters, CNBC and Bloomberg have repeatedly got things wrong about outright crypto bans in South Korea which simply haven't happened yet. FUD has fueled the fires and panic selling from largely inexperienced and new participants to cryptocurrencies has created a wave of fear over the entire market collapsing. As one famous investor once said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Crypto is not going to die, markets are cyclical and need to correct on occasion, and January is as good a month as any. There are a number of possibilities for this. Firstly we need to look towards Asia where a large proportion of digital currency trading occurs. Chinese Lunar New Year is typically a time when millions of people have time off work to travel back home to visit family. They need fiat for this so some profit taking and a sell off is expected. Other factors such as the approach of the end of the tax year when people need to get their financial houses in order could also contribute. Additionally there have been other big influences such as the expiration of the first ever Bitcoin futures contracts this week. All could and probably have affected market sentiment and price action. Waves of new traders feeding off in substantiated Facebook groups and Twitter feeds trying to make a quick buck have added to the volatility. FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt and FOMO, fear of missing out, have created unnatural spikes in altcoin charts and coins come in and out of favor on the shill or whim. Only when it is realized that crypto has not collapsed and markets do go down as well as to the moon will things settle down. We are still at the emergent stage of what is gearing up to be a mushrooming market and a technological life changer, there is no need to panic. If 1% slash day is what they offer then that's a Ponzi. Other cryptocurrency enthusiasts compared BitConnect to another Bitcoin lending investment alternative, Bitpetite. Actually, it was successfully running until recently. However, the company suddenly went dark along with all the investors' money. Classical pyramid referral system. However, further research into its work and promises indeed revealed BitConnect is looking like a scam, a hybrid of a financial pyramid and a Ponzi scheme. The most obvious thing is that it sounds too good to be true. The company offers high interests. For example, for $10,000 plus of investment, you are promised to get a 0.25% daily interest, which means 91.25% of annual return. Sounds good, 
if not to say fantastic. Moreover, they promise to grant you a 480% bonus per year. Seems odd enough, especially considering that they have crypto emergency. Now that's a crypto crash, why is BitConnect crash? BitConnect market cap collapse, a sign of Ponzi scheme falling apart? BitConnect is suspected of being a hybrid of a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme. BitConnect was founded in 2016 as a very promising project with its own cryptocurrency BCC. However, since November 1st, the company's market capitalization suddenly collapsed from $2 billion to $0.5 billion. In a Twitter post, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum called the project a Ponzi scheme. If we look closer, his statement seems to have all chances of being truth. Is BitConnect indeed nothing more than a pyramid and a Ponzi scheme? The BitConnect homepage states, BitConnect is an open source, peer-to-peer, community-driven decentralized cryptocurrency that allow people to store and invest their wealth in a non-government controlled currency, and even earn a substantial interest on investment. This means anyone holding BitConnect coin in their wallet will receive interest on their balance in return for helping maintain security of the network. However, such a bright description didn't fool some of the experts. For example, Coin Codex decided to distance itself from this project, delist BCC from the top 100 listings, and issue a warning on the Coin Overview page. Their head of the content division, Marco Stokel, stated to Coin Idol, BitConnect employs a number of dubious methods in order to operate and promote its business. The business model outlined by the company is economically unsustainable with the current level of returns unable to be validated by any legally known investment system. As already stated, the BitConnect project also generates a large amount of negative feedback from within the cryptocurrency community with accusations that the project is actually a scam or Ponzi scheme being actively discussed. The discussion on BitConnect was spurred on by the comment of Vitalik Buterin on Twitter they've actually lost $1.5 billion of their market capitalization since November 1, 2017, although the price of their coin decreased by only 1%. Their coin has also fallen from 8th to 15th position on coin market cap. Probably, from referrals you should bring. The mere fact of a referral system should make you investigate the company very closely. That referral thing is typical of all kinds of pyramids, MLM and Ponzi schemes. Remember MMM? They promised mountains and marvels for bringing people in as well. How did it end? No need to mention. Bad English, bad sign for investors. If you take a closer look at the BitConnect website, you will probably notice many language errors. Reputable and reliable companies do their best to avoid this as it may spoil the user experience. Even if the founders are not native speakers, they usually hire an employee to perform spelling checks. According to Steemit, scammers don't want the employees to be able to identify them after they disappear with the money, and besides, they want to reduce the costs as much as possible until they shut down the site. Meet Satao Nakamoto. Satao Nakamoto is referred to as head of development. Seriously? Did they really think people won't notice that obvious resemblance with the name of Satoshi Nakamoto, the father of Bitcoin? Well, it could indeed be a coincidence. Though such a coincidence is hard to believe. Especially considering the fact that their address is a shared office space that provides virtual offices, and their website is hosted in Belize. When you investigate the company deeper, you will discover it is impossible to find real people working at the company. It is even unclear who that Satao Nakamoto is. Of course, it is not surprising in the crypto industry, where many people use nicknames to disguise their personalities for their own reasons. Most of them are